I've needed to repaint my building uh, for a few years now. Problem is I've had it painted twice before and it's been professionally painted and, and the first thing that they do is come in and power wash and it knocks off chunks of paint and, and uh, then they let it dry and then they come in and spray paint over the, over the entire building and it looks really good for a few months. I always have it painted in the summertime, but uh, and then by that fall, it was usually just three or four months later, it starts peeling again, and it doesn't just peel a little bit; it peels a lot. You know, it gets pockets of water stuck between the paint and the brick. That uh, whenever it rains real heavy, or uh, wind blows, and it'll pull off a big plug of paint. Uh, the bad thing is the Combiansaurus has got to go and that is also a pokey stop. And I suppose it'll be a pokey stop even with the Combiansaurus gone, but there's nothing to draw people's attention to the wall anymore because that big old dinosaur is gone now. Now first I scrape it with the blade like I showed you a minute ago and then I go over the, each brick with the angle grinder and that hard wire brush and just try and get all the way back to the brick so it get rid of all the all the original paint that has been causing the problem over all these years and uh, it's it's a whole lot of work it's been taking a lot of time and I realized during the period of time that I've been working on this I turned 60 years old and I came to another realization I'm 260 for my knees, 260 for my knees, you've got to believe me. I'm 260 for this work, 260 for this work, so 60 it hurts. And I'm 260 for snowman, 260 for snowman, surfboards or suntan. And I'm 260 and I'm farty, 260 and I'm farty. Let's go for disco dancing. I'm like a monkey, you know what I mean As I climb up the side to the catwalk To the catwalk, to the catwalk Yeah, I scrape a lot of paint from the catwalk Stay a little bit cooler that way. 
or a respirator. When you're grinding and scraping the paint, a lot of that paint has lead in it. It's been there for 60 years, so don't get it in the lungs. Respirator. Safe glasses. These have a, a magnified part at the bottom, kind of like a bifocal, but the top, top part is just safety glasses. And wear a hat, because uh, the sun beats on you pretty hard. It'll give you a sunburn on your neck, make your head real hot. And when you get hot, sometimes you get dizzy and make mistakes. I've been busy for a while, so I'm done for the day. I just have to clean up and move the scaffold on the back. So I'm going to do that now. When you've been scraping on the very, very top of your project and you're as high on your scaffolding as you're going to be, it's always a good idea to have a broom. Now this isn't much of a broom, but it works. You want to try and get rid of all this stuff because it, it, you could step on it and, and slip real easy. And uh, we really don't want to do that. Here, let me get this part out of it. You know, I should probably invest in a safety harness. That would have been a good thing to talk about. Uh, since I don't have one now, uh, uh, maybe, maybe nobody noticed. Nobody watches my videos anyway. Uh, I'll just change the subject and talk about something completely different. Well, I'm down. Maybe I'll talk to you about something else. Marital aids. Yeah, I use marital aids all the time. I use them when I'm grinding. I use them when I'm doing noisy things. I use them around my wife when I'm in the car. And I use them around friends who like to talk a lot and tell crazy jokes. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care until next time. What? Did you say something? Oh, still got the plugs in my ears. <laughs>